The big question in the NFL, where will Peyton Manning play next season? The Arizona Cardinals, one of the rumored teams to have interest in him. They just paid big money to Kevin Cobb last year, was supposed to be their quarterback of the future. Could you see them getting rid of Cobb and bringing Peyton in? Well, they'd have to make a decision on Manning by March 17th, as you know, a $7 million bonus at that point. So after nine games, are they ready to cut the cord? Listen, this is a cutthroat league. I mean, the NFL is a, a no-holds-barred kind of operation. If you don't prove yourself in the first year, plus you've got concussion issues saddled you know, with, with him hanging over his head, you're not sure what you have in John Skelton, they absolutely could be interested in Manning, and they've got a number one receiver who might be pretty interested in having him, too. Yeah, obviously Larry Fitzgerald is there. That's a huge plus for the yes. Cardinals. They also have Ken Wisenhut, who's done this before with Kurt Warner, basically scrapped his whole offense that he brought from Pittsburgh to play Kurt Warner's offense and spread things out. Is this the perfect fit? Don't underestimate the Wiz and Hunt angle. I think that's so very important in this because I think Wiz and Hunt, his personality would mesh very well with Peyton Manning. He would, in essence, hand the keys of the offense over to him. You know, we talked about Fitzgerald. Those two are, are friends. He and Manning have dined together. They've talked about the possibility of playing together. Are there some things that they have to bridge? You know, the offensive line improvement, um, you know, finding another receiver to go with him. We could possibly see Reggie Wayne come there on a one-year type of deal. Yeah, cap space still an issue, too. They'd have to probably cut Levi Brown. That makes your line Weaker. Darn. Yeah, well, hey, that leaves you without a left tackle, maybe a right tackle too. Things to overcome, but I still put them up in the upper echelon of odds as far as teams that could acquire them. And we've seen them go after an older talent before yep. Emmett Smith, Edron James, a former team. Joe team Montana back yeah. in the day. They Joe went Montana, after. those other guys they got. Montana, they thought they had, yeah. and at the last minute, the rug was pulled out under them. Wouldn't be surprised if this happens the same thing for the Cardinals fans again, you know, a couple of 10, 20 years later that did the Montana thing. You'll just have to see if he ends up in Arizona or where he goes. Check it out at ProFootballWeekly.com.